Hi, so welcome back to the channel. Um, I did a video of how to add add-on domain to Google Host, and I simply made a mistake in the video. Whereby, when I was editing the video, I actually mixed the sound of another video with the video, and that video has been um causing a lot of negative comment on my channel. I'll put a link in the description of the of this video so you can see the video. The tutorial was actually okay, but the sound I actually misplaced the sound for uh, I misplaced another sound for the sound. So um, I'm very sorry guys, I'm very very sorry for those of you who know how to give negative comment, please it was just a mistake, the video was correct, it was simply add to add add-on domain to Google Host. So I'm going to do that in this video, I'm going to show you how it is done, but this time I'm going to use the normal voiceover which is what I'm doing currently. And so please if you find um, any negative thing in someone's YouTube channel, it is better you just comment and let the person know because sometimes it's not easy to actually edit especially for those people who are, have not started receiving any commission from youtube it is quite stressful so you can just encourage them by actually giving your feedback not actually trying to insult the creator so guys i want to show you how you can add add-on domain to your google host now in google host if you go to your hosting plan here is the, if you go to your hosting plan in google host you're going to see that you have a google host starts about um i come let me look for the hosting plan services let me see if the hosting plan so go host have about um i think three hosting plan which allows you to be able to add add-on domain to them it's just the same thing as name chip for those of you who have made this of name chip okay this is it for this 1000 era plan which is the learners per month you have about two add-on domains for the one five you have three add-on domain 15 subdomain so now for this other um, dealers plan 28 with about 500 domain then supreme learners 10 add-on domain now what is add-on domain add-on domain is simply adding another domain name to a web host for example the main this if you purchase this web host you'll be asked to purchase a main domain for this domain name so what you can actually do when you have that main, this main domain is to start um, adding domains to it and the main maximum domain you can add to this is just two so you can add other domains to it or another um uh, website url as we all know it so now i'm going to show you the process of how you can do it from my own um from my own experience or from my own tutorial so if you go back to my dashboard if you go back to my dashboard you see I already have um two services this service here is talk about your web host then eight domain now as you remember the shared hosting plan gives you the minimum of two do, um, one main domain and two add-on domain that's three domains so each of these one has six but i had i have eight here because two are actually connected to namecheck i did a tutorial of how you can add domain name um in the nigeria domain name to um, namecheck you can watch it on my channel i'll put the link in the description so that's why i have about eight here now if you click on my service And I'm gonna scroll downward so um so now this is one of my domain name this is the main one this is another one now each of these have um add-on domain added to it so now if we go visit this one so suppose this is the one you purchase the web host you purchase and then you view you click on view details now to add add-on domain you'll be required to log into your cPanel guys i'm doing this tutorial because i did the first one and i missed the sound so i don't have i don't really have any um any domain name to add because i don't plan on purchasing anyone currently so i don't have any one to add right now so if you have one just follow me and listen to the voice of this sound and then you understand what i'm doing so now if you go to your um your um if you click on view your domain let me start again from the process if you click if you go to your dashboard that's after purchasing your domain name and your web host i have a tutorial on the channel that also did on uh, also talked about purchasing domain name and web host so you could actually see it now if you click on it now you click on this side you click on view details view details now when you click on view details it's going to take you to the details of your web hosting now when you scroll downward you're going to see one click see panel now you're going to open it I prefer opening it in the new tab so you're going to open it now once it is open 
sorry it is not open just click on the c panel probably it will open now once it is open you just scroll downward to your add-on domain now you look for add-on domain this is add-on domain if you can't find it you just search on this search bar right here you search on the search button this search bar right here but for if you want to scroll just scroll down or look for domains and then you see add-on domain now when you click on add-on domain you're going to see this part that says create an add-on domain now when you see this create an add-on domain what you just want to do the other domain name you bought so let me go back and see if i have any free domain name on my dashboard area So I'm going to pause this video because I have some clients domain in here. So I'm just going to pause this video and then check if I have anyone and then let you guys know. So after checking guys, I couldn't find any domain name because they are all, um, all most of them are for my clients and they are all um, linked to different web hosts. But this was the one I added on that tutorial. So now how do you do it? After purchasing your other domain, you just come to this place and type in, let's assume this is the add-on domain you want to add. You, add, you just type in the domain name here type in the domain name so supposedly your domain name is your domain.com.ng you just click on enter and then it's going to show up like this you're going to click add domain now if i click add domain it's not going to work because this is i don't have this domain right now but if you have your own domain you're going to put it here and then click on add domain now once you click on add domain so it says your add-on domain limit of two domain has been reached. The add-on domain was not added because I already have my two domain on this web host. So now if you do that and click on add domain, it's going to work and you, it's going to tell you that your domain has actually been added. So guys, it is that simple. It is that easy. So I'm very sorry for the video I made before and I made use of the wrong sound. Please, please, please forgive me. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. My name is Victor. Um, my channel's name is Victory Design because it's all about web design and design tips to get you started on your web design journey so guys thank you for watching this tutorial there's going to be another ugo host video that's going to pop up on your screen if you want to understand ugo host understand my um the how to put in ssl for you on your ugo host domain for free please check the video on your screen and i'll see you on my next tutorial so for now please subscribe and have a nice day guys bye